but it is his first day of play school. Oh, and the teacher asks you, what's your name? And uh, you're not crying? I'm not. <laughs> Good morning, beautiful besties. Happy Thursday morning. Today is a very special day because it is Alex's first play school. I can't say school because it's not really school. It's not gonna be like learning anything, but it is his first day of play school. It's not only for us, you know, just to get our time for ourselves, which is really important. So if you're a parent, do not feel guilty, but it is also, it's mainly for Alex, just so that he can socialize with other kids, which he's never done ever since he was born. But he's only gonna be left there for like an hour. We're just gonna observe well, we're not really gonna observe actually because we won't be in the same room. But the teacher's gonna observe how he's gonna be reacting to other kids and how he's gonna cope without us, which I am kind of scared about because he has always been with us. He's always been dependent on me and Marco. So it is definitely a big change for him. It is a big adjustment for him. So we will see and we will see together. Right? Can you say hi? O O T D. Wow. Anyways, I like woke up at 6 a.m. Like 6 a.m. Actually, I woke up at like 4 and then 5 and then 6. I'm almost excited about If his parents don't have a social life here, at least he deserves to have one, right? So that's what we're going to do. It's currently 8.23. His play school starts at like 9. So we have a few minutes to go until we leave. And I am using my phone because I just realized that the battery on my camera is not um, charged, fully charged. So I just wanted to show you guys something. Alex's cute bag that has his diaper in it. Although it's just gonna be one hour, you know. But I still put his diaper. He has a pair of extra shoes in here. Uh, we have his pacifier in here, just so that it doesn't get mixed up with other kids' pacifier. And the teacher said, please bring a pacifier. What if he doesn't use a pacifier? He said, the teacher said, please, please bring a pacifier only because it's a way to soothe them if they cry because the parents obviously won't be inside. And a cracker. That, this is Alex's favorite cracker. That's why I brought it. And that's it. And then we're just gonna bring his little hat. That is what is happening. Alex. Alex is disturbing his papa as always. Come here, Alex. Are you being a pasawai? Huh? No? Come here. Say hello. Oh. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Thank you. <laughs> when the teacher asks you, what's your name? Bleepy. <laughs> First question, wrong agad. Ano na, Bleepy? Is your name Bleepy? Bleepy pa more. Your name is Alex. Bleepy. Bleepy. Although, hindi naman English ang ano dito mga teacher. So, wala din. <laughs> so, I think this is when Alex will start to obviously learn ano na Italian because he'll be more exposed to Italian this way because the only way he's exposed right now to Italian is when he's with my in-laws. Because me and Marco, we speak to Alex um, in English. Majority in English, tapos Tagalog. We're just waiting for the time to go by a little bit and then we're gonna head off. Alex! <laughs> Why am I feeling nervous all of a sudden? I was feeling like very chill and then now I'm feeling nervous alex has no idea what's going on <laughs> Ay, nako. that's okay it's only for an hour can you guys imagine if four hours i got so it's a good thing that huh so it's a good thing that it's gradually done Hindi siya yung four hours agad. tomorrow hopefully it doesn't rain because if it doesn't rain tomorrow i'm the one who's gonna take alex to the school once he starts doing like four hours then that's what we'll do either marco takes him and then i pick him up or i can do both actually so and here we are oh i cried that's right more babies are you crying i'm not <laughs> i am i am too he he started crying when the girl got him but then he realized oh shit, i have no choice but to go with her she looked inside and he said he, she was said he wasn't yeah. crying no yeah. <laughs> so where are we going now well we got one hour 
Yeah. So I wanna just pass by real quick because I need to get my belt and I probably forgot my glasses. Alex is socializing. <laughs> this guy, man. It feels know. weird to live, you know? It does feel weird. You see this girl was crying, this little kid. Because the beginning it's something new. Yeah. But it depends because I think, you know, if they keep him busy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One hour is doable. I'm not sure like when it's going to be longer, like two, three hours. And there's also like background music. Uh, anyways, it's just one hour. Let's not let's not overreact to it. I feel like we're leaving it for, for like a whole day. Can you imagine? I'm happy for him. Of I am course, too. I am it's too, it's too. kind of a weird feeling. Anyways, we're just going to go over to my mother-in-law's place because I think Marco forgot his glasses there from last night. And uh, you're not crying? I'm not. <laughs> I'm happy for him. Yeah, me too. Me too. So most parents cry like the first day, but I think it's because knowing that it's only for an hour, it's okay for me. But if it was like all of a sudden the whole day that he's in school, I think it would be a little bit too heavy. Well, but the thing is, like, what about when you drop him at 8.30 and you we pick him up at 12 and you have the whole morning to do your things? I mean, at some point you have to let go because you can't be 24-7 with him. And I don't think no, it's, it's also true. healthy for him. I mean, he needs to socialize. This, this is, can you realize that this is the very first time in almost two years that, he's... that he is in a room with other kids. Yeah, I was, I was just about to say, can you just make sure that you remove his hat? And then I'm like, well, I'm sure she knows. <laughs> <laughs> can you make sure he re you remove his jacket? <laughs> yeah. Like, can you make sure, sure you, uh... I'm sure they know. I'm sure they know. Oh, you right, want to message them? No, we'll be fine. <laughs> oh, she's going to also post photos on Facebook. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. Hey! So, you know, I'm our besties. <laughs> that is the outcome of Alex's day one at play school. I'm not surprised that he was crying, to be honest with you, though it was very heartbreaking to see. Um, but that's how it goes, especially if Alex, you know, is always with us every single day. And if he's like an only child. With my other kids, I don't remember. Well, they never actually went to school like this early because Alex is only like one year and a half. What was I saying? No, we have space on our phone. Anyways, as I was saying, I know. So I'm not surprised because, you know, Alex has always been with us since day one. He didn't cry for the first 30 minutes. And then after 30 minutes, he went to the door and maybe he expected us to be there, but we weren't there. And that's when he started crying. So tomorrow is another day we are going to take him. Um, but it'll be a little bit longer this time. It'll be like one hour and 15 minutes. And the teacher told us, or you know, already set our expectations that it will be a lot harder or it will be a lot difficult than today because Alex already knows that we're gonna be leaving him. The teacher told us that you have to be stronger than your kid because that's where most moms and most parents quit and don't continue with letting their kids go to play school because when they you know because when they see their child crying like a lot like hysterical cry so we have to be strong it's the first time it's happened to me like i said my my three kids they never went to play school they went directly to like day daycare but or daycare is it the same but they didn't go to to what alex is going to at this age so they were around four years old five years old now when they went to school but the only thing that pushes me to do this is the fact that Alex doesn't have any playmates at home, which is really, really hard for a baby because they can't always be, you know, in front of the TV. So this is the only way we can, yeah, we can, this is our only solution because I mean, what else do we have? What other solution do we have? Make another baby? Mm. I don't think so, besties. Anyways, I'm just currently cooking Alex's uh, food. He's having a little bit of minestrone because it is getting fresh and his pasta is already in there. Pasta I'm using for his food, he's still eating the small pasta, but they're definitely a lot bigger than before. <laughs> it's like this one, like a macaroni style pasta. That's one thing I noticed with Alex, like before I would feed him like really mushy food because I was always scared that, you know, he wouldn't eat um, big food because he didn't want to chew or I was afraid that he would choke. And so what I did is, 
when I got like, because Alex was really like extremely hard to feed, my besties, really hard to feed before. I got really fed up and I'm like, you know what? Instead of enjoying the moment of feeding your child, I always get stressed when it shouldn't be the case. And so what I did is, you know, I'm just gonna change a little bit and let's do like Filipino style um, feeding, which you can also do pasta, but what I did is, nilagyan ko siya ng sabaw, so sabaw, sabaw, ganun. What I did the first time is parang chicken, tapos my carrot, tapos my parang chicken soup, ganun ang ginawa ko, tapos my pasta. And in fairness, nagustuhan niya. Nilipat ko rin siya sa malalaking pasta. And ever since then, he's been eating his food. If it's liquidy, if my soup sha, hopefully he ni kuto jinx because it has been working really, really great. And I guess the problem wasn't Alex, it was me because I didn't, you know, explore in regards to the food. I didn't explore that maybe he was getting tired of the mushy feeling, the mushy food. And so when you have a picky eater, I guess that is one thing that you can do. You can just really try and explore what you feel that he would like. Kaya hindi ko rin siya naisip na gawin na masabaw kasi di, di ba dito hindi naman masabaw yung mga ano mga italiano except for when it's winter time. Pag summer time hindi talaga sila nagsasabaw. Philippines kahit na umuulan o mainit nagsasabaw tayo. And ayan. And I think I'm going to end this vlog because like I mentioned in my last vlog ayaw kong gawin super haba ng mga vlogs but I will share with you guys what tomorrow will bring. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching and if you haven't already subscribed, go click on that subscribe button and also like this video for more videos and vlogs. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you the lighting next time. Bye! Cause you put all the pieces back together Yeah you